Hello everyone, I am Heba Hassan and today we are in New York Tech. Today together we will know how to create a shadow to any object in your scene, whether it is a movement shadow or a stable shadow. Suppose that you want to add some trees, some something to your to your uh, video or your image using uh, some shadows here. Today we will know together how to do this. In our video here, we have this. Let's stop. Uh, this green screen, very very simple. Suppose that you have uh, some green screens but without shadows, or uh, it's a little bit difficult to uh, uh, subtract this shadow. How to create it yourself and be realistic as possible? Let's see how. Let's take a copy of this video. Let's go down and let's come here. Okay. Let's just stop. Come right there. First of all, I need to um, reformat because I like to deal with the half HD. Uh, the video itself is uh, for for sorry low quality, but it's okay. It's just for clarification. So let's start together. Uh, first, I need to use um, pre primate to clear this chroma. And let's go to use the alpha to clean it more. So let's clean all of this mess here. There. Come close and clear as much as possible. Very very quick. You can take your time cleaning cleaning your video. Okay. Um. Uh, let's stop right there. Okay. Maybe use the foreground. Okay. Nice, nice. We have here some greens, some colors. Maybe gun over there. We can use some technique in order to make it more clean. How? Let's use the copy note. Here we don't have an alpha, so let's use the copy in order to have an alpha. Yeah. Now I have an alpha. Okay. After that, because I have an alpha, I can pre multiply it. Okay. We have some green, some bad effect. How to take care or um, just remove it using um, key light. Okay, let's take it in here. Because we have a pre multiply, I can un pre multiply and remove all the green over there. I can go back to my frame multiply to clean more if I do have something bad. Alright, so now I have here my video is clean and I need now to start to do the shadow. In order to do the shadow easily using the 3D system in Mac. So let's create a quick 3D system. We need a card. Um, Scan line window camera. Okay, let's to connect all of them. So and I uh, also I need a scene because I will have more than one card. So it's connected scene. Let's take this here, and I do have my camera here. Now let's make any background. Uh, make it say so it's um, 120, and change the color a little bit. Let's make it like blue or something, and make it like the background. Okay, and let's start. Let's take all of this here. We go back. Okay. 
I need the same model here, black. Okay, how to do it? You can use the color correction in order to make it black, or you can use the copy node here as A and take another consonant as B. Be careful, the consonant should be 720. Suppose that you forgot to change the format. Okay, what will happen? Let's see. I will need to connect them to the card. And let's see what do we have here. Add the 3D. See? Now I have a card with the same dog here. But it's very, very low. It's not following the whole card. Why? Because of the format. So I need to change the format in order to be the same format of the dog. Okay. So now let's go back to my card. And it's behind the camera. I need it to be in front of the camera. So let's take it all there, over there. And I want it to lay down. You can change it from the orientation or change it from the, uh, the, the rotation here. Anything is good, no problem. Like that. Okay. But be careful, I think it will be done. I need to see the animal in order to make the shadow uh, more accurate. So I need another card here, but without addition, like that, with the same animal. Connect it with the scene. So let's go down here, like that. And this is here. Let's see. So now I have here the dog. But be careful. Go back, back. And try to connect it inside the lens of the camera. So let's take it here. Up. Maybe back. Like that. Okay. And now let's connect the shadow of the dog at the same place come closer like that now I can see everything so I can come back and put everything in its place be careful I need to go down you can take your time to do it right I just do it very quickly okay So let's have a look here. Yes, I do have something. Like that stop. See here the difference? You can go back and then to do it right. Like, like that. Just take your time. I think it's more accurate than before. Let's see. I can pause the video and do it much more correct. Okay, one minute. So I have do it. Uh, I did it here for some frames. So let's stop. Um, my shadow will never be like that, will never be that black. So I need to change it using some nudes like multiply here. Um, so let's change the color a little bit like that. It will not be that sharp, so I need blur here. So let's take it over there. 
the light of the scene you, uh, if you just focus here you will notice that the, the light coming from there like that when you see the shadow of the ear and the shadow of the tail you'll find it here like that so the shadow should be according to the light I need it to be skewed a little bit over there so let's go back to the card and skew it here for about 20 or 30 like that because I did that I need to go to this 3D and just move it a little Yes, like that. Cool. Now I have a problem. If you notice here, let's go back and go. The shadow here is very, very blurry. Here and there. And that's not cool. Because the shadow under uh, the fit, which should be a direct connection between the fit and the floor. So the shadow should be more um, more plaid than the others not feathers like the others okay so this shadow here should be uh, more plaid more dark than the others how to do it very simple I'll take a copy here of the shadow details let's add it here to the scene Let's add it here. Come on. Here. See? It's more black. But the whole shadow is black. I don't want that. I need only I need all, only this to be more black than the others, not the whole shadow. So let's take a roto. Here. And pre-multiply that here let's have a look um i don't want it to go to the alpha i need all the rgb okay and let's do something here like that okay i don't see anything because i am not at the cream of the black Let's take. Do I have a shiny? Yes, I do. Let's cover this for a while. Let's go to the rotary. Come up. Let's make for the example the feather to be. A big number like two thousand is five feather off. Okay, why well, don't see anything here? Let's take this to be a little bit like that in order just to see. Okay. So I need to take this like that, just focus here. Okay, but I don't want this to be feathered, so it's mirror and take only that. Now let's have a look here uh, at the scene to see what's happened here. You notice it's very very sharp, and that's what I need. So you're blurry. I don't want any blur maybe two okay the multiply to be just one like that uh, we do have that square because we change the black let's go back to the black okay if you notice here very slight difference close if you want to notice more just go back see here 
all of this the same color but here now it's really different that's what i want this color here should be black darker than this one here notice that this is exactly what i want so as we saw before now uh, we know now how to create our shadow using any video or any photo with the same technique to conclude this we just remove the, the chroma and using the key light in order to remove any other greens or just to make the um, the chroma better and then copy the um, what copy here the alpha into the alpha of the scene and use it here as a shadow and to create this shadow here in our scene and measure it with the same uh, model or the same animal whatever okay and then add this shadow in order to make the uh, connected parts more darker than the others okay so we have here that and that 3d scene you can create more and more and more in your 3d scene and add it to your 2d scene very easily very quick i hope our new tip here today helped you in your project let's meet together in your next tips goodbye